Hi, this is Kevin Westerling, editor of Water Online, reporting from WefTech 2011. I'm with Brian Hayes of ABB, and Brian's going to tell us about some of the new and cutting-edge products that ABB is introducing this year. Brian? Oh, Kevin, thanks for coming by the ABB booth at the 2011 WefTech show in beautiful Los Angeles, California. We're very proud to be introducing some new products this year to the marketplace so our customers can see it in this wonderful displays here at WefTech. This year we'll be introducing our new energy efficient ACS 2000 drive system, which will reduce energy for customers, reduce their footprint, and reduce their cost and lead time. Also, we're here to announce the acquisition of Baldor with their energy efficient motors being introduced to the marketplace, as well as our system integration capability. So again, a new great year for ABB at the show. Great, Brian, let's take a look around the booth then. Okay. Brian, what trends does ABB see in the North American water market? Well, the, the most obvious trend we're seeing is the need for customers to reduce energy and reduce their costs, especially in applications like aeration beds or control systems. Motor efficiencies, all, all trends that customers are coming to us requesting information on and solutions to. I understand that ABB has four global initiatives that are market specific. Can you explain, Brian? Yes, Kevin. About three years ago, ABB set forward on customer requests to look at four specific industries. The industries are rail, solar, wind, and water. And of course, we're investing our R&D money into these specific industries, and this is all being guided by customer trends, customer requests, and our people in Zurich, where we'll be investing over the next five years uh, a lot of additional resources into these marketplaces. Brian, what experience or history does ABB have in the uh, global water market? Well, Kevin, this is our 53rd showing at the WebTech show. So we have been involved with the water industry here in the United States for many years. But the 53 years is only recent history. The history of ABB and the water industry goes back to the George Kent Company, which was founded in 1890 and has provided instrumentation and different products to the water industry. So we have quite a history with water introduction of new products into the industry, and of course we're known for that. Brian, how can ABB help customers improve plant performance and reduce costs? Well, th that's one of the main reasons we're here, to show customers the innovative systems that we have to reduce the costs within their units. Uh, as you know, ABB's history has been both in the water industry as well in power production, and we feel we're a perfect combination to help our customers improve efficiencies in both the processes and energy consumption within their plants. You really need to call ABB and we can sit down with you and talk in detail on how to do that. Okay, Brian, how about we take a walk around your booth and see some of your new and innovative products? Kevin, we'd be proud to show you around. The first stop will be our new AC2000 drives. I'm here now with Paul McCabe of ABB, and Paul's going to show us one of the latest innovations ABB is showcasing here at WefTech. Paul? Thanks, Kevin. The ACS2000 is the newest member of our medium voltage drives product family. It's designed for a direct connection to 4160 volts, 6000, 6600, and 6900 volt system voltages. Again, this is a variable frequency drive uh, and for water wastewater applications. It's kind of geared towards the uh, aeration blower, influent pumps, and, and lift station pump applications. Uh, this direct to line design basically uh, we achieve that through this active front end technology. So the active front end is basically, uh, we use high voltage IGBTs and we are actively switching those to do harmonic cancellation. And so this allows us to eliminate the need of a multi-pulse transformer in order to meet IEEE 519. And so that allows us to get this into a smaller footprint uh, and fit into more spaces for both retrofit and new applications. These phase modules are basically the heart of the design. And so the phase modules are identical on both the input rectifier section as well as on the inverter section. The modular construction of the phase module, uh, again, allows us to bring this product together in a late stage manufacturing assembly. And again, it brings us to a world class lead time of uh, as little as eight weeks. Another advantage of the design is that we're using a, a basically a, a multi pulse or a, a, a multi level switching algorithm that basically eliminates the need to do additional output filtering uh, and put out a nice motor-friendly waveform. And lastly, when, in this direct-to-line connection, in order to do that, you need to have some impedance in the system. And so in the center bay, we have a fairly large inductor or reactor that allows that direct-to-line connection, again, minimizing the overall installation costs. 